Good evening and welcome to our devotion for Thursday, April 15th. Like I said last night, the uh, church council meeting is this evening. So I'm taping this in the afternoon and probably posting it late afternoon or supper time. So if you're catching me early, I will be saying our Luther evening prayer a little early, but that's okay. Uh, but it's good to have you here. It's good to be back with you. A lot of us use GPS. You used to have to buy like a Garmin or a TomTom Tom or something like that. Uh, a dedicated uh, machine for like 300 or 400 dollars and you'd have to subscribe to update it and stuff uh, but uh, those kind of had to go out of business because pretty much everybody that has a smartphone has GPS on it uh, through Google and they use it. We used it uh, this past weekend when we were in Memphis when we went to especially to our uh, tour, which is, oh, a few miles outside of Tennessee to the west, the Belmead Estate, it gave us detailed directions how to get from the hotel, which was downtown, navigating the construction and the one-way streets, and the streets that were busy getting us to the interstate and then going west. Detailed direction, turn here, turn in 200 feet, uh, stay in the left lane. Everything we needed. And we depend on it when we program it to go to our uh, destination. In fact, you don't even have to program it anymore. You can just tell it where you want to go. But yeah, you depend on it and you trust it for the most part. So much so that you don't even pay attention to where you're going, where the turns are, where the landmarks are, you know, where the signs are. Uh, you just listen and follow the directions. There's no need to think about where you are and where you're going, except for, except for what happens if you want to get back to your original destination. Let's say we're at the Belmead Estate and we want to get back to the hotel and the phone, the battery was dead and we didn't bring the plug in. And since we didn't watch how we got there, how are we going to get back? We'll have no idea because we didn't pay attention. We didn't learn the streets and the freeway exits. And therefore, if that happened and it didn't, but if that happened, we couldn't get home. We'd be lost. And that's the uh, title of our devotion for today. Out of our portals of prayer. Lost again. It's from Proverbs 19. Cease to hear instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. What does that mean? Well, it kind of refers to us, uh, I think it's Second Timothy. All scripture is God breathed and useful for teaching and reproof. All scripture is good for learning. To lead us on our pathway of life. Now it's not like a GPS, it's not to get us to our destination. Our destination, number one, is in no doubt. And number two, 
is not dependent on how well we follow directions. Our destination is guaranteed to us. What was done by Jesus Christ. But by following the right pathway, it helps us to live a godly life. You know, sometimes when we don't read scripture, we don't do our devotions, we don't pray daily, we forget. Or sometimes the troubles of life drain our batteries and the voice in our hearts doesn't lead us, doesn't tell us where to go, doesn't tell us what is right and what is wrong. It's silent or might even give us the wrong directions. It's like the direction button on this phone. You've got a direction button that tells you your location or tells Google your location. And normally I keep that turned off because it's none of Google's business where I am. But if I'm doing navigation, I let them know where I am so I, they know how to get me there. And sometimes our location where we are is turned off, our spiritual location. But see, here is the good news, that Jesus Christ searches for us when we're lost. He looks for us diligently, and he absorbs our sins in the cross. He absorbs our lack of faith in him. And he leads us on the path, on the pathway where God's plan would want us to be. And God's plan is that we allow Jesus Christ to find us and to save us. And then, after saving us, after giving us salvation, giving us new life, he guides us in our lives and at the end of our lives brings us home we never have to be lost again because in Christ Jesus our location and our GPS in our heart our faith is always on in our baptism in the Holy Spirit let's pray the prayer at the bottom of April 15th's devotion. Lord, help us with your spirit to walk, not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of the sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. But help our delight to be in your word, that on your word we may meditate day and night. In Jesus we like a tree planted by streams of water. May we in you yield fruit in season, in all that we do, prosper according to your gracious will. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah, so much scripture included in that prayer. It is a wonderful prayer. And speaking of wonderful prayers and, and showing that our lives yield fruit in season and all that we do, prospers according to God's will. We pray Luther's evening prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I've done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Tomorrow is uh, my day of rest. Uh, I hope you have a good day, the rest of your day today and 
tomorrow and we'll see you for coffee 10 o'clock Saturday morning. Bring your coffee, tea, soft drink, and hopefully sit out on the deck with me. And remember, as you get ready for bed and get tucked in, that God loves you, and so do I. Good night.